Good morning and welcome to the Dunton Homestead. I probably have 20 different things I could do outside today um, in preparation of closing down the summer garden, start getting the fall and winter garden started, preparing for an unwanted guest that might be showing up Thursday night, Friday night into Saturday, and that would be Hurricane Ian. Um, jury's out whether it's going to hit us or not. Please keep everybody that's in the hurricane's path in your prayers and thoughts. And um, a lot of people have had a tough year and they need this, like they need a hole in the head. So as I said, there's tons of things I could be doing outside, but when I get overwhelmed with things I need to get done, usually what ends up is I have squirrel moments. So today I decided I was going to make breakfast burritos and go ahead and, and prepare them to freeze. This recipe that I'm going to be using, I got off the internet, uh, I want to say a couple years ago. Um, I've tweaked it a little bit, changed it a little bit, and I will put the recipe in the description below. Um, if you like more of these type videos of, of cooking and stuff, just go ahead and like, comment, let me know what you're thinking, um, and subscribe. So this is a pretty simple recipe. I already have the uh, things all chopped up and ready to go. Um, it takes a uh, onions and green peppers, cheese. I have more cheese than what it calls for, but we like cheese, butter, milk. I'm using bacon this time. You can use any any kind of meat, um, like I, I would get ham, sausage, whatever breakfast type meats and of course eggs and I have about two dozen eggs in there. Today I'm choosing to saute the butter, the green peppers and the onions up separately from the eggs and then I'll add them in as the eggs start cooking. Um, you can do it all together but I just like I have a better handle on the texture of the vegetables if I do it separately. I am also, what my kids say, cheating, making the bacon. I think one of my favorite things that comes from Pampered Chef is this thing for bacon. Um, less mess, do it in the microwave, five minutes you get five done, they're not drowning in the grease. And Drain them easier. My kids don't like it, but honestly, I've made it before this way, had things cleaned up, and they didn't even know I've cooked it this way. So sometimes the generations just don't see eye to eye on things. Today I've chosen to uh, cook the eggs, and then I'm going to add the peppers and onions. I'm going to do it in the electric frying pan. Oftentimes I overestimate or underestimate the pans that I use when I'm cooking a big batch of stuff and I figured this would just be easier. I'm just mixing it all in good together, getting the eggs all cooked. It doesn't take but a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and add most of the cheese, get that all melted, I'm leaving some of them out just to put on top of the burritos when I bake them just for a couple minutes, long enough for that to melt. Bacon should be done in a few minutes and I can go ahead and add that. I've gone ahead and mixed in the bacon and I've just transferred everything to a bowl just to make it easy to assemble. So you want to have enough egg mixture in there to make it worth eating, but then you also want to be able to fold it and have it actually stay together. Um, probably could have done better on that one. So that's the challenge. I have gotten a little bit better at it. Also, it can depend on the um, the kind of burritos that you buy, the tortillas that you buy, on 
how well it's going to work for you. And sometimes they seem drier, some, sometimes they're more pliable than other times. Or it's possible, I'm just folding them around. So I wanted to do these um, for a couple reasons. I have a surplus of eggs. Um, I have my own green peppers, my own onions, and I wanted to put away some quick grab and go, grab and go breakfasts. Um, and I'm going to try and figure out how many calories. And obviously, I can't fill, figure out total nutritional content, but how many calories are would be in here for anybody that is going to be getting these at calorie counts. Now, I don't know as though we're going to get a full 20 here. I may make another batch and this time use sausage. I don't have any more bacon. We have yet to be able to expand our little homestead into having pigs. Maybe someday. I did lightly spray the casserole bowls, dishes that I'm using, just so that when I get to take them out, it does not stick. So now I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of cheese on top and get them in the oven, probably just for like four minutes. I'm going to be watching it just to just to see that the the cheese is melting but not burning. And I did not get 20 out of that. I got 11. So I think I'm definitely going to be doing another batch with um, sausage so I have more to put away. Because I know three of these are going to get eaten right away and then I'm going to um, freeze the rest for a grab and go breakfast. So um, what I'll do is I'm going to get these in the oven, get the, get the cheese melted, and then we'll, we'll um, take them out and I'll show you how we package them so that they can be frozen. Now that is our finished product and now we'll just wrap them and get them ready to put them in the freezer. So I bought a microphone because I had gotten some comments about not being able to hear me and it was working through most of the video but then when I was just going to put it all together, um, it, the sound cut out. So I've already done this portion of it. I'm going to do it again without the microphone and try to speak clearly and loudly enough but I just wanted to um, to let y'all know that. So I went ahead and unwrapped some of them that I had already had packaged up, just so I could re-show you. The reason why I am first wrapping them in a paper towel is because some people will choose to microwave when they're reheating. Other people will choose to do it in the oven, and so then I wrap it up in the tin foil. If you're gonna do it in the oven, then you're gonna want to remove the paper towel first and it usually only takes um, I would probably reheat like at 30 seconds at a time if you're doing the microwave and um, I would probably check it seven ten minutes reheating it to put it in the regular oven So I'm not gonna, you know, I didn't unwrap all of them to do this all over again. It was pretty disappointing when I didn't have sound. Um, but I have to figure out this new microphone thing. Anyway, after I get them all packaged up, I have a Ziploc type bag that I will list what's on there with a date. So in here we got the bacon breakfast burritos. Mm -hmm. 
just go ahead and throw them in the freezer. Take them out as you need them. That's all for today. Um, thank you for joining me and uh, be a blessing and be blessed.